All right, here we go. So, where we left off yesterday, I was locked in a heated battle with a vicious canine that had to be put down. And that took forever. It was a cheapo boss fight, and I fought it probably like 10 times before I finally claimed victory. Um, but the thing is, let me see, there was a branch in the story. We could have either like sided with the witch because the town people, they all suck. Or, we could have, like, abandoned the witch and sided with the townspeople, which I feel like that was the bad decision to make, but that's the one I had to choose because it made the boss fight a lot easier. Yeah. So I just got done killing a helpless animal, and now I'm not exactly sure where we're going. Yo, silly Johnny, what's happening, man? <laughs> The Filipino Python loves it when I dance to Justin Bieber. <laughs> Love songs in neon blue halter top with neon blue speedos. Baby blue jelly sandals. You're painting quite the picture for me, Johnny. How you doing today, man? Good to see ya. Let me see. I'm not entirely sure what we're doing. This is the quest we're following. No, no. No. And this will... wait. Get me into the city. Right. Wanted. This is one. You go into the city. And Witcher's Secrets. Follow the trail to Vizimus. So all of my quests right now are leading into the city. I think we have officially washed our hands of this village here. I don't think there's anything left for us to do. I'm wondering, like, is there a way to power up my armor? That boss I fought was so freaking hard. It was too hard, and I'm wondering... Oh, I don't even have a silver sword. Wait, what? Doing coolio, Johnny? Sounds good, man. That's always good to hear. <laughs> yeah, that boss I fought was a little bit too cray-cray. And, hmm, I wonder if I should have bought, can I buy armor? Oh my god, I have no idea. Whatever, we killed the boss, we won. It's time for us to move along. Wow. <laughs> oh no. Why, Johnny? Oh my god! Back, demon! Taste flame and cold steel. Yes, skills, baby. LMSO, what are you trying to say, Johnny? That's... I don't understand. <laughs> I think I know what you're saying. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, so... Wait, we're not going to the inn, are we? It's taking us to the inn? That's not where I thought we were going. I thought we were going to Vizima. Where dreams come true. <laughs> you gotta show me your techniques, Johnny. The pleasure pretzel of love. It sounds delicious, actually. Pretzels? Come on now. So, they led me back here. I'm not entirely sure why. Find Shawnee. Oh, I'm looking for the girl. Oh, she's right here. Eh. Geralt? 
Are you all right? Wow. I was so worried. What a babe. I'm fine. She doesn't look weird. I'll tell you what happened at on all. the raid of Azima. I'm done with this village. So am I. I hope I never return. It's unfathomable how many criminals live here. These are hardly pleasant times, Geralt. The plague, impending wars. Still, I'm astounded. Do you know how the beast came to be? No. They unknowingly created it with their misdeeds. A powerful sorcerer couldn't have matched it. And all they needed was hatred, baseness, and greed. It sounds like a fairy tale. Every tale contains a grain of truth. Let's go. Vizima awaits. Mm. Do you want to leave in the middle of the storm? Shouldn't we take this party back to my place first? I guess not. Hmm. Is there like, is there anything I can do here? I killed everybody here. I killed the innkeeper. Everyone's dead. I think uh, things got a little bit heated in the moment. Maybe I shouldn't have done what I did. But forgive and forget, I suppose. The carrot. <laughs> That's right, huh? I think that was. But you know what? There's like, there's quite a few redheads in this game, actually. <laughs> carrot, carrot. Oh, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. There's, what's the the old adage? Uh, Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. They come up with the craziest insults. Dude, we're really gonna take a romantic walk out in the storm? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. So jealous. All the women want to get with Geralt of Rivia. Gerald of the Riviera. Look at this man, his white flowing mane. Now, oh. oh wow, the rain cleared up. I could see clearly now. Maybe I'll just go on ahead, cause she's going uh, a little bit slow. Oh wait, they want us to go to the side here. Dude, we gotta go all the way around that way. So is that like a secret entrance? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> yeah, so Johnny, you've been, uh... Has Rebs been streaming lately? Have you been seeing what she's up to? I was trying to give her a call the other day and she wouldn't pick up and I, you know, I usually don't uh, keep tabs on her on everything she's doing. Is she still doing that war zone? Where am I? Okay, going the right way. I'm not gonna get over how, like, ominous and creepy this music is. Alright, so... They... we can cross, and then there's a little path off to the right that we could take. Actually, what is this? Cave beneath city wall? Have I been there? Is there, like... Places I haven't explored? Oh, she was on a couple days ago? I see. Is this the path right here? Dude, it's so dark! Wait, I have a torch, right? Okay, that helps a little bit, actually. Yeah, before we go into the city, I, like I said, I'm like 
90% sure we're done with this region or this area. But might as well. Wait. <gasps> what is that? Oh, a fireplace? Whatever lives in that cave is far from friendly. Ooh, I haven't seen this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try a new strat. Frequent save games. How does that sound? I'm not sure. I've been in a cave. I don't think it was this one, though. Uh. Oh! Oh, wait. I fought one of these. I think. Oh, my God! Taste steel, sir. I'm dying. Kill it! Okay. That thing almost myrtleized me. I don't have any buffs active at the moment. And this is my last swallow potion. Great. But I do have a lot of food. Can I right click to use? Okay, and this is a... Wait, what? Like a 10 second heal? <laughs> Yo, Kovic, what's up? I'm trying to press all the buttons. It's not working. What's going on? I'm waiting for your second stream debut. More professional Valorant play? Let's see. Yeah, I really don't want to use that. You were gonna, but... <laughs> but what? <laughs> oh my god, baked like... Cookies? I think I understand. You ate too many cookies. Okay, has this thing been actively healing me? No, it has not. Is that five minutes? No. Okay. Four minutes, even though it's actually really long seconds. Very interesting. Can you hear that? <laughs> okay, let's see. I saw your latest piece of artwork. The kitty with the gun, that's pretty cool. It's the same thing, a 10 second buff. Dude, these guys are too tough for that, man. What is this? No! Alright. Oh my god! Run! Oh no! Oh! Can I see the debuff? I have some kind of debuff on me. But I don't know how to... ...look at it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I just can't tell. <laughs> um, maybe I will just... Eat the potion. Oh my god. I will. You know, the potion's effects last like two hours or something. So we're just gonna make it last, everybody. Yeah. Wait a minute. Is that two hours or is that like two really long minutes? Hmm. Late to the party? You're good. Actually, you're pretty early. There's nobody here yet. I mean, everybody's here, as far as I can tell. Kovic and Johnny. And that's all we truly need. But let me see. Okay, yeah. 
I'm actually getting healed here. <laughs> so is that for J Tuck? Is that your big famous streamer friend? I think I was checking out her profile and she has like millions upon millions of followers. You know, actually, I showed her to Christine. Christine knows her somehow. Christine's like, she looks really familiar. Okay. No, it came back! Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Alright, this is going like a little bit better than the last time. I'm not taking any damage this time. Before he almost killed me. Very interesting turn of events here. Simple. Alright, again, it's like very dark in here. I saw that I have another cat potion though. I thought I used them all, but maybe I'll go ahead and use it while I'm here. I thought I saw one. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh my god. That's crazy. Uh, so apparently... Oh. Um, apparently she sees her, I think, on Facebook as like a recommended person. So they have like a mutual friend, apparently. So I guess they probably don't personally know each other, but they know somebody. Dude, what is happening? Do something! Why are you just standing there? No! I think I'm getting... There's two of them, right? Yeah, okay, they were double teaming me. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to think. Should I continue exploring this place? There was no quest that led me here, so maybe I shouldn't even be here? I just don't know if you come back later. That's the only thing that I'm wondering. Because... I never want to come back to this little town ever again. But we could return, I guess, in the future. You know what? F it. We're moving on. <laughs> at this place. <laughs> yeah. Oh great, my cat potion is still in effect. And at least we get a really cool like zoomy effect on the edges of the screen. And I'm back to full health anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, F it, we're doing it live. Nickel admits monks and folk with passes. Rebs told you that, Johnny? You know what? I can believe it. I truly believe Talk that. To the guard. Let's get out of here. here we go, y'all. Vizima lies beyond this gate. I hope we never return here. Me too. The beast is dead. The salamanders are dead. And the peasants. Hmm. I have a pass. Mikkel should let us enter. Let's go. Why did she want to meet here? This is such a random place to meet. Why did we just meet at the destination? 
Hmm. Huh? I I suppose. Uh... <laughs> Is she only four eleven? She's taller than that. <laughs> Got any problems around here? Well, that Cartiona or whatnot. Damn plague's been about killing folk. And we got monsters too. Monsters? What kind? Well, there's wolves. Lots of them. And there's the deadens, and there's elves and kobolds. Wolves, you say? Oh, heaps of them, sir. And them much have gone wild. It used to be I could pelt them with rocks. No, I'm just afraid. I see. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Um, I do not want to play this guy in dice, but we will see what this option does. I found these strange dice. Dwarven handiwork. Don't know what folks have said, but I quit playing long ago, I, I swear. Yeah, right. Relax, Mikkel. I'm just asking. The Revan can tell you I burn my box and renounce the devil. Talk to the dwarf, Zoltan. Zoltan, you say? That cheater who friggin' scammed me? Hmm... Uh... Where might I get a pass? The Order of the Burning Roses got passes. The Eternal Fire fights the plague. I've seen no knights here. Would the Reverend know anything? He knows a lot. <laughs> Wouldn't hurt to ask. If I four? Farewell. Dang, Johnny. I think that's around her height. Okay, Kovic. You doing some valor? I was gonna ask, but yeah. Girl, you gotta be streaming that. Hmm. Mikkel, I need to enter the city. I have a pass. I wanted to say I was sorry. I apologize, Witcher. Apologize to Ilsa, Mikkel. Apologize to Ilsa. Okay, that's his girlfriend who supposedly he... I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Sergeant, that Witcher's here. The one I told you about. Who do we have here, Mikkel? Is this the man we want? Yes, sir, Sergeant, sir. It's that filthy freak, the Witcher. A blasphemer and a counterfeiter, do I guess well? Yes, he asked who's allowed into the city. Then came with that, uh, that letter of safe conduct from the Order. Now, if that's a knight of the Order, then I'm Princess Adder. Son of a bitch. Hold on, what's happening? Did I get betrayed? Top 10 anime betrayals? <laughs> You're distracting me with, uh, your attractive features, Johnny. Five... five foot four... feet of love? Now I don't know what's happening. Five foot four feet of love. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let me out of here, I'm innocent. Those five pounds of fist tech were for personal use. Hey, you! Jailer. Dude, that guy Police looks move interesting. Me. I don't want to be with the politicals. Politics makes you rot. I'm a decent thief. Let me out. Shut your trap. I'm busy. Jethro, keep it down. You're looking to kill me? That thief's bugging me. Jethro. Thief, right. And I'm here with the politicals. Scandalous. I said shut up. Stop screaming or on my mother's life I'll bloody smash your junky mouth. Abso fucking lootly beautiful. <laughs> What's your problem, Whitey? You wanna dance to Vizeman? Come on, I wanna see your hands in the air. Oh dang. Hold up. This guy wants to rumble? Jethro, open the cell. Ooh, scared Sweet. soft as butter. Come on, Whitey, what you got? Back off. What? You wanna fight or not? Professor, move it. You're free. Professor. That guy, he was looting Karamoran. How ironic. Our paths cross again. So near and yet so far. <laughs> Dear not Witcher. This guy's voice. Again, I assure you. You're making a mistake. This man's a murderer. You fail to grasp the basic rules governing this world. 
You're a genetically modified murderer with no place in modern society. But we'll tend to that problem next time. Farewell. It's Vash the Stampede. I can't wait. Yeah. Yeah, no, totally. Sweden's were like... Uh, Hamburgen Durgen, yeah. Durgen Bergen, yeah. Yeah. I don't think Scottish and Irish people talk like that. <laughs> Hamburgen Cheesebergen. <laughs> that was so dumb. Um, uh, okay. What's Muscle not? Man. I still got my cat potion active. Yeah, my dad's a big boy. Um, and his dad is even bigger than him. I think my grandpa is like six something. Was it Jenny Young Bosch? Dang. Played Vash the Stampede. Tomorrow's my big day. Why are you here, Elf? Delighting in the last moments of my life. Or trying to. I hang tomorrow. I have a request. Mm -hmm. I've always found games pleasant, and Jethro let me keep my dice. If you don't have your own set, we can share mine. Oh, dude, no. F this! This gives a scam! All right, you maggots. The king in his mercy will pardon whoever subdues the cockatrice in the sewers. Pardon? What about half the kingdom, the princess's hand in marriage? Clever. Watch what you say, Witcher. Political jokes could get you in trouble. I'll slay the monster. Too late. There's another volunteer. I'm the better candidate. The creep in the corner claims he'll defeat it bare-fisted. Which creep? Yo-ho! The Shrek of guy? Lord. You're kidding. <laughs> of you want freedom? Fight for it. Whoever wins faces the cockatrice. Piece of cake. <laughs> cake. Yummy. Um, hold up, hold up. We're putting my new strategy to use. Constant saves, because I just have no idea what this- anything could happen in this freaking game. I've always found games pleasant, and Jethro let me keep my oh, dice. Oh, is he? Nice. If you don't have your own set- Shut up, son, and play. Alright, let's try this. Boom, baby. I'm ready to win my money back. I think- Dude has a full house? How do I- How do I compete? Johnny, you are a poker master, yes? How do I approach this? I only have a pair. This man has... Wait, what's a full house? Is that... Uh... What, two of a kind and a three of a kind? Is that what a full house is? Okay, I don't know anything about poker. I could beat this, right? I could beat this. That's nothing. I just have to... Wait, what? Bluff or fold? Well, the thing is, we can all see each other's hands, so it's like... It has, like, some poker rules, but, like, it doesn't have the bluffing aspect. It's, like, all totally random. This is a horrible game. Get me out of here. Okay, hold up, hold up. We'll finish this match. Roll, baby. Roll. Two and three of a kind, okay. I did not know that. Threes. Do we have a four, five, six? Dude. Wait, what does he have? Okay, so right off the bat, his pair beats my pair. He has a pair of sixes. 
What are the threes? I got two threes right here. But I have... You can see a two... Or, I mean, three, four, five, six. So if I were to roll one of these for a two, that's a pretty big gamble, I think. Like, I wouldn't get that two. But... Maybe it's my only option. I could roll the rest and hope to get, like, a couple of threes. Okay. We're going for it, baby. We're gonna go for... more threes. If you get a straight, he still wins? Does that still beat a straight? What? Alright, we're gonna go with this. Give me some threes, baby! Oh my god, this game is rigged. Oh my god. F that. That's why I made that save data. Okay. Yeah, we can't play this dice game. It's just a big scam. There's no rules. It's like playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay. Now. Flush or higher? I'm not entirely sure what a flush is. You tasted the muck they call supper. Something must be. Wonder who squealed. <laughs> Was it you, Johnny? Did you squeal? Third month inside, so I've grown accustomed. Better than home. I'm innocent. <laughs> Step away. We're honest thieves, not politicals. Honest thieves. I'm just doing an honest day's work as a thief. Watch what you say. Walls have ease. I'm an honest looter, looting this target. It's honest work. Okay. I think we're gonna have to fight this dude. Yo, Skelly. Full house is harder odds to get than a straight. Okay. Well, then what the heck is a straight? Oh, wait. A straight, that's like the ones in a row. Two, three, four, five. Or whatever. Full house is a... Why you never play games? I want to play games. You know what we have to do? We gotta play some uh, Metal Gear Survive. Oh, up and finish it. I can't wait all day. I'll defeat you, then thrash that lizard and go free. Let's do it. Taste fist, sir. Dear God, these blood fountains. Wow, this is riveting. Truly... A revolutionary combat system right here. I'm going to kill you, you bastard! Did I win? <laughs> bastard. You couldn't have beaten me without your spells. I saved your life. You don't want to play the Metal Gear? Is no joke. Oh, Next I'm time, <laughs> you'll get beaten. <laughs> you rock and roll all night long, sweet Susie. Congratulations. <laughs> you, blush. you won the right to slay the beast. I'm almost proud. Oh, flesh is same. Slay the beast, or would you rather just stand there? I need a weapon. That's funny. We recently confiscated a witcher's sword. Where? Not your business. Jethro, oh. bring that silver sword. So this is where we get our the silver sword. It it's probably Baron yes, Gars. That right? one. Can I have it? Get it from Jethro. The rest of your gear is in deposit for afterwards. Fine. So lame. One more thing. I'll pay extra for the monster's head, provided it's undamaged. See that guy back there? I'll see what I can do. Is that what a flush is? Well, if you don't want to play Metal Gear Survive, what do you want to play? Oh yeah, Kovic was there. I think she's going to be popping in and out. She said she's playing Valorant on the side. You're not trying to coerce me into playing oh, Valorant, the sword. are you? And where was it? Hurry up. I don't have all day. Yes. We also confiscated a potion. Once you've completed your task, collect your belongings from behind the bars. I'll ask about it. 
Then I'll get the professor. Play Valorant. Stupid. Dear God. The professor just does the wet work. If you want to be effective, you'd strike at his boss. Though I doubt you'd succeed. He's a big player. He has concessions. Connections, you mean? I'll find him. First, you gotta survive he your meeting with the cockatrice. Four. Watch my belongings. I'll be back, and I'll want everything returned. So wait, a flush is like all the same suit, but does it have to be... <laughs> I never miss. Does it have to be like pairs? Or like... You can literally have all random cards, but if they're all the same suit, then it's considered a flush? <laughs> so lame. <gasps> oh my god, it's... Skellyfish, you're in the game! That's you! You didn't tell me that you made a cameo in this? Skellyfish? Look! Skellyfish man! Never mind. <laughs> Shut up, play Valorant. <laughs> oh, dang, did I just. Sorry about that, Skellyfish. Valorant, I'm down for that. Maybe not tonight, or if I do it tonight... Oh, you know what? I can't be up too late tonight. Hey, look, a torch. Oh, they took away all my stuff? Dude, are you serious? Um... Yeah, I can't be up, like, way too late tonight, because, uh, Carlene's working the next couple days, and... Um, I do not want to interrupt that, but... I'm down to play it tomorrow, I guess. Oh, you're a witcher. Cool Indeed. haircut. White hair, vertical pupils, signs of mutation. Skip the medical exam. Forgive me, I meant no harm. <laughs> I'm Siegfried, a knight of the Order of the Flaming Rose. I'm Geralt. I've heard much praise concerning the combat skills of witchers. If you don't mind, I have some work to do down here, and I'd like to get it done fast. A cockatrice, correct? That's why I'm here. Let's talk. Yes? Oh, here we go. A cockatrice? I thought that was like a chicken, but they're saying it's a lizard? That's slightly confusing. Random cards with the same sweet suit. Oh my god. Highest number wins. Okay. Like, my ten of spades beats your eight of diamonds flush. This is almost making sense to me. <laughs> this guy has a pandemic haircut. <laughs> he cut it himself. I don't know. Alright, here we go. Think you can kill the cockatrice? The sacred flame will guide me. What prompted you to enter the sewers after a beast? It threatens Vizima. The Order's been fighting beasts for a while, rather effectively, too. Wait, that's witcher's work. You witchers are relics and few in number. You're no competition. The Order demands no payment for protecting humans. I suppose fairies funded your armor and castles. Ooh. I've no desire to argue. We're both here. There's no reason to await the other's turn, especially while there are drowners here, too. Let's join forces instead. I long to see your combat skills, and I assure you, my sword is at your disposal. I'm down for that. This game is a little too cheap, so I'm gonna take all the help I can get. Agreed. Let's go. You lead. And I wanna take some fashion tips from this guy as well. Alright. Silver sword. Dude, how did I start the game without the silver sword? I thought that was like... Basic Witcher necessities. Oh well. Drowners. Good thing I have my anti-drowner ribbon tied up in my hair. Wait. Does this sword not have combos? Oh, it does. Okay. Oh, dang. It's like a different animation set for this sword. That's actually really cool. Leave! Leave my friend alone! Leave him alone! Die, scary fish. Yeah. 
Oh, dude, yeah. It's a different, like, attack animation with the Silver Sword. That's awesome. You need a snack and coffee? That's too much to ask, Skelly. You're gonna have to starve. I'm sorry. Yeah, Johnny, I know. You are a good poker teacher. I am just a lost cause, is all. I want to collect the brains of my fallen enemies and consume them. Hopefully raise my own IQ through this. Anything else that I missed? You know what I don't understand? Sewer levels in video games. Why does every single video game have a sewer level? Why? Why do game designers insist on putting us in the sewers? Like... I would rather be almost anywhere else than in a sewer, but we... Resident Evil 3, I was playing that one. There was a sewer section. It's like, what? Didn't we already do that in Resident Evil 2? Do I want to go that way? What is Rounders? Oh, he's back. There's not infinity of these guys, are there? I mean, it's like almost every single game has like a big old sewer section. Even like... Final Fantasy Remake? Final Fantasy 7 Remake? Like, the sewer section in the original was literally like one screen of a sewer. And then the remake expanded it into like the entire metropolitan sewer system. Oh, glowy thingy. Form the ritual. <laughs> I, oh, am I follow you better than she would? <laughs> I mean, you know what it is? If we were like, if we had the cards in front of us and you could like actually lay it out for me, then like I would pick it up. But like, yeah, doing it over like text and without the actual like game pieces. All right. We don't like mermen. Please leave. Dude, I'm swinging that blade all around in circles. Oh, there's a lot of guys here. Ooh. Behind the back, over the shoulder, like nunchucks, except it's my silver sword. Dude, that guy's like dual wielding. He's got a torch in one hand and sword in the other. That's what I should be doing. Um, dear god, this is a maze, isn't it? And I'm just barely walking around killing anything that moves, not knowing where I'm going. Never knowing where I'm going. Uh, there's the way that we are knowing. <laughs> Please tell me you guys know what that is. Okay, so I'm here. Dual wielding fool. I play poker, but like... I don't know about... What was he saying? A flush? So I know what a straight... I didn't know flush was a thing, honestly. I gotta watch Maverick a couple more times to pick up all the intricacies. Okay, we're gonna go down this hall and see if we can bust a quick righty... A righty tidy. Oh, brains. Please take the 
torch back out. Wait, the map shows this... The map shows... It looks like it's connected to a room down here. Oh, down this way. Okay. A lefty Lucy followed by another lefty Lucy. ESPN poker. <laughs> Did they have that on ESPN? Alright, fools. What the? What are you doing? For victory. Get back here. I like those floating skulls, that's kind of cool. Yes. Care to dance, merman? Getting a lot of good brains up in here. I'm gonna make a delicious soup with that later. Hmm. Oh yeah, the grindstone, it's like a damage buff. A damage boof. Oh, yeah. A note and a key. Read, please. Please read. What are you doing? Read it! <laughs> um. Okay. Wait. Worshippers of the lion had spider meat in the sewers. Okay, cultists. Okay. Can't say I truly understand my reading comprehension. It just hasn't been the same. ESPN Hearthstone. Wasn't it that ESPN was actually hosting esports and stuff? It was like a new thing, they had like Street Fighter and stuff like that. Ooh. Wait. Oh, that's it! That's the cockatrice! What? Do I want to go that way? There was a door over here, maybe I'll try that real quick. World Series Poker. Regular people playing against celebrities. The movie stars suck. I could believe that. <laughs> okay, so the key that I got is not gonna work there. Alright, we're just gonna go make our peace with the god and then face the chicken. Was that it? One-shotted? The cockatrice is dead. Now, where was the exit? I don't think I can go back the way I came. Come, I'll lead you to the exit. Take the cockatrice's head. Vincent pays well for trophies. Oh. Very well, though it reeks. Was that supposed to be a boss fight? What? Dude, it just makes no sense. The last boss that I did, the big doggy, took me like 20 tries. And if this was supposed to be a boss encounter, it was literally one hit. So I don't know what is happening here, but... But okay, I'll take it. I can equip this? Oh. Sold for a lot of money. In The Witcher 3, these things actually give you passive bonuses. I wonder if that's the case in this game. I heard something about Tobey Maguire playing poker. That he's actually really good. That might have been what I saw. Lou Diamond Philip. I actually... I'm not sure who that is. <laughs> you would have to refresh my memory if there's something I've seen that guy in. Skelly, did you ever get this far in this game?
I know that guy wants me to follow him, but I'm just gonna do like some light exploration. Oh, we could rest here. I don't think there's a reason to yet, though. Oh, that thing does inflict incineration. Interesting. No, take it back out. Okay, I think... Ooh. Oh, the dude from La Bamba? That dude's Filipino, isn't he? Unless I'm thinking of somebody else. Oh, yeah, every time I hit escape, he puts that thing away. Okay, never mind. Every time I exit an inventory screen, he puts it away. There has to be a hotkey for that. I gotta find that. I will not subject myself to clicking on that every time. R, T, and U. Okay. Did Really? You lied. Lies. Oh, maybe this is what I need. But that's way over here. Across the whole keyboard. Oh, well, okay, it works. You don't know his race, okay. You don't remember this game. Wait, watch Molly's game. Michael Sarah plays as Toby? Toby Maguire? Molly's game? What? Is that a new movie? Okay, I'm gonna follow the dude. Climb, sir. That door story. leads out of the sewers. So, this is where we part. But... Quiet. I hear footsteps. Odd. Few would dare venture here. Oh, the cultist, right? It's a true story about Tobey Maguire? That's what you're saying? Oh my god! Okay, maybe I need my other sword, actually. Prison break? But I thought they would let me go if I killed a cockatrice. Friends of yours? You could say so. The thugs with the salamander sign have been bothering me for a while. Who knew you'd be in the sewers? The captain of the guard, the loon from the jail, and the prisoners. I fought the cockatrice for my freedom. Hmm. A limited number of suspects. You'll likely solve the mystery when you find the leader of those bandits. I have a friend in Vizima, a detective. See him for help. Toby Maguire's a sociopath? To attend to at my what? Quarters. Then I'll venture out in search of beasts, as the world is still filled with them. You did well, Siegfried. Glad we met. I need to recover my things. Make sure you get everything. Jethro is known to have sticky fingers. Let's get out of here. Here's the key for the passage to town. A few days ago, I locked the door to keep the cockatrice in. Thanks. I'd rather not go back the way I came. We might meet again if ever you visit the sewers. At times I venture down here in search of monsters. Ah, your sacred mission of protecting humankind? Your sarcasm is unnecessary. We're on the same side, Witcher. You'll realize this one day. Farewell, and thanks. If you ever need me, I'll be at my quarters in Vizima. Thank you kindly. Anyway, I'm still kind of unsure on why I can't go back the way I came because didn't the deal was that they would give me all my stuff back after I <gasps> Wait, do I have a new sword? Okay, so now I'm back to steel sword and silver sword. Cool. Interesting. Damage 
minus 20 because it's not my witcher sword maybe interesting get coffee could you make me some coffee too please thanks Toby's kind of young to have a biography movie. True. Do I want to go to the cultist crypt? Or am I just going out this way? You know what this place looks like? Alexandria in Final Fantasy IX. It looks a little bit like that, right? But this is like the big boy gritty version of it, I guess. What? What do I do with that relief? That I, Siegfried, mentioned could be helpful. Have to start somewhere. Yeah. Curses. Shine your shoes. This guy looks like the freaking the Reverend from outside. <laughs> they just reused his model. We are all sinners, but the eternal fire will consume our sins. Boot black. Greetings, sir. Greetings. Who are you? A shoe shine? <laughs> Clean that muck off your boots for just two orans? <laughs> sir, don't talk to me or my son ever again. Okay. I wonder if that's a thing. You befriend the hobos and then they help you out later. I'm trying to, like, what am I actually doing right now? Talk to the fence who had the witcher's sword. Ask Thaler about the silver sword, okay. See Jethro to collect my things, that's probably the next one I'm gonna do. Looks like the Greybeards from Skyrim. You know, I never got that far. I like read about the Greybeards, but I I always get like caught up doing side quests. Let's talk to Vincent about Salamandra. More in info on him. Okay, I guess we'll check that out real fast. Vincent. Captain of the Guard. He released the professor. Right, so why did he do that? Yada, 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 yada. Oh, is that what happened? So he, it was kind of a setup. They told me that if I killed the thing, they would give me all my stuff back and let me go free. But on the way back, they allowed the salamandra bandits to go in and kill me so they set me up okay that makes sense I was wondering uh, why that was happening oh <laughs> right let me set my next quest which I think is gonna be this one collecting my things right way down yonder Greetings, sir. Can I help? You the smith's apprentice? Sir, I sweep up 
Fire the furnaces. Run the shop. Can I have a look? As you wish. The head teacher in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> He's got that beard game. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Oh, five thousand dollars. Why did they do this to me? And I don't have anything to sell. I could sell the sword. I don't think it's that good anyway, and I'm gonna get my own sword later. Yes. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, I can't sell anything else. Except for the flint, but that's actually useful. I like having a torch over the dagger. I mean, the torch is actually a useful item. And I don't think I need the off heavy weapon, because I'm going to get that back later. Yes, I figured you weren't talking about my cat. <laughs> or my dad's cat. Alright. Back to collect my things. Ooh. Okay, somebody explain to me what that means. <laughs> you won't judge me if I sell my body? Why, thank you, Johnny. Wow, that guy's looking pretty cool. That almost looks like a, a Morrowind guard or something from... Except, like, I don't think they were red, though. Times are tough. Am I going the right way? Where am I going? Oh, dude, I was probably supposed to go that way, huh? This looks like a dead end. Yeah, that's gonna take me to the cemetery. I actually, I like those smokestacks, that's cool. That's like, what, old-time london -y when they had chimney sweeps? Kind of cool, actually. Daugi, vicious canine. Hospital Street. Oh, look, it's Rita from Power Rangers again. Alright. Wait. I have to go that way? Up around there? Because this looks like another little dead end right here. Hmm. I guess we'll take a look first. Yeah, dead end. Hey, it's the carrot hoe. Geralt, you managed to get out of prison. I did, though it wasn't easy. I've heard about your deeds. Hmm. I see you're working at the hospital. Yeah, I'm I think that's what play. I was thinking of, Johnny. No that one of the when DLC areas had those like town. cool guards with the face Stop covers. Work. Okay. Quickly, I need to get back to work. Dude, you know what? I do have to play Morrowind. Oh. That would be so cool. Oh, do they have crimson armor too? Ah. Wait, hold up. Okay, I got to talk to you, girl. You got to get back to my place. I got something to show you. How can I help? Your skills are no good here. Shani, I do other things besides kill. We don't have a cure for the plague yet, but did you know Rusty? Don't recall. Before the plague took him, he discovered certain plant extracts retarded the disease's progress. You need those plants? Yes, the best one's Celandine. Unfortunately, it's only found on swampy ground. Oh, so I'm picking up a I'll quest here. Help. Every blossom counts. Bring at least five sprouts. I need to talk to you. Can it wait? Well, I suppose. Wow. Visit me at home. The hospital's no place for personal matters. Visit her at home? <laughs> <laughs> Show her my mighty sword. Where are you staying? I have a room in the northeastern end of Vizima. Easy to find? 
Opposite the house, there's a small square with a sculpture of a snake. Quickly, I need to get back to work. See ya. See you later, girl. In due time. Due time. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna stay on course. We're gonna collect our things. Again, I think I was saying, like, my inventory is so full, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to find a merchant to, like, sell some stuff off. But we'll see what happens. Oh, a notice board. Oh my god. I believe these are all quests as well. Alright, so now that I've read them all... <laughs> Oh my god, John. <laughs> Can I just like discard these? Because they're really just taking up inventory space. Oh, you can put them there. Yeah, I doubt these are worth anything anyway. Dude, what is that? When you drop things, they fall into the real world in the air? Interesting. God, you hear that? I, I like hear noises in the background and like I really feel like they're behind me. <laughs> Old fashioned AC. You're free, but you still need to observe the quarantine. Meaning? Don't leave the temple quarter. You must be kidding. We keep a close eye on you, Witchers. Didn't I hear you say that everyone's equal? What is it, Witcher? How's the Salamandra investigation going? Patience, Witcher. All will be explained tonight. Any way I can help? Stay clear of the warehouses and the slums. It's a sensitive case that doesn't require your sword. Just yet. The warehouses? You don't intend to go there alone? It's a secret operation. How do you expect me to go? With an assault team and full plate armor and a bugler? Relax. Buglers. I'm no rookie. And I got a few things up my sleeve. No doubt. Meaning? <laughs> no matter. Have a good time today. Enjoy your freedom. And maybe tomorrow <laughs> I'll serve you Javits balls on a platter. I know this game is very topical. We got a quarantine here. All we gotta do is find some protests going on as well. I can prove I killed the cockatrice. Impressive. That's 400 Orans reward. 400 Orans? Well deserved. Do you handle monsters too? I'd rather not waste my men on that. I pay anyone who kills a monster. Just bring proof. What pays best? Right now, my budget includes reward money for the cockatrice in the sewers, and for some bloodthirsty plant that kills people in the swamp. Okay. Nice. You killed the cockatrice. On behalf of King Faltest, I grant you an official pardon. Finally, this absurdity is over. Hmm. Take your belongings from the trunk before I sell them. And remember the reward on the cockatrice's head. Vincent gets very excited about trophies. Ah, I can finally relax. I'll inspect what we've confiscated here. Hmm, good quality gear. Keep your hands off my things. So, did they give it back, or I have to pick it up from a chest? P 
Pepper vodka. Ew. Pepperchinis. Okay, this is my stuff right here. Yeah, my Witcher sword. I got this thingy here. Oh my god. I have too many things, man. Okay, we're gonna take the valuables for sure. Flint is good. The cat potions don't stack? They do stack. Oh, this is the perfect time for me to try and, like, get organized, right? Maybe I could keep all my potions down yonder? I don't know how I would organize any of this stuff, honestly. Okay, I'm already getting overwhelmed. <laughs> fish? I could put, like, all my fish food on top. Yeah, you know, F it. Too much brain power. I might not even need to take these scrolls. I doubt they're worth anything. And I've already used them. Key to the crypt. Do I even need that? Oh, it's a quest item anyway. I do have sellables, those, the jewelry and everything, so... And I think the books are actually worth selling, so I might take those too. I mean, <laughs> transfer all. Oh, that's like, kind of perfect. Yeah, sell the stuff I don't need, right? They've made it so that, dude, I got money too. 1600? Almost 1700? Yeah, the thing is, at least in this game, I think what I've noticed is uh, certain merchants will only buy certain items. So I'm gonna have to like find the correct merchants who would buy this stuff anyway. Spray paint and tag the horses? <laughs> is that a thing? Okay, let's double check our quests. Just so we have, like, some direction on where to go next. I could probably track any of these. Wait, I'm wondering, what are these star... That means it's active? It has a star? Dear god, I have so many. Speak to city guards. Decide to see the private investigator. Oh my god, man! What am I gonna do? I guess I'll check about the silver sword, yes? I like silver swords. Oh my god. Sure. Okay, but in the meantime... Oh dude, it's right there. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and they won't tell me which one of these are merchants. Oh my god. Alright, well, looks like the next quest is literally right here. Fence. I'll buy and sell. What you deal in? Everything worthwhile. So what'll it be? We doing some plowing business? Okay, before anything else, show me the wares, baby. I'm here to sell. Dude, weapon upgrades? Okay, that's not worth selling. But it's worth a lot of money. Another weapon upgrade, oh my god. Will he take a grindstone? I think I have a lot of them, right? Or no, flint is what I have a lot of. 
He will take this, though. Yeah, I gotta get rid of this stuff. Dude, do I need this? I'll sell it. <laughs> yeah, I'm selling stuff. Woo! Uh, how about the diamond and the amber? Yeah. It's not even worth that much. But okay. Alright, that freed up a couple slots. Base for bombs, that sounds like it's worth keeping. Another base for bombs. <laughs> you would buy Thai spice? Oh my god. <laughs> Johnny, sometimes you're just too much. I wonder if any of this is worth buying. I don't really feel like it is. Okay, well if I find another, like a bookseller, I could sell the books and stuff, and... I probably don't need all this alcohol either, right? The city guards found a witch's sword at your place. First of all, it's the cocksucking guards. Second, why do you care? Another witcher, Berengar, came to see you. Well, it wasn't his fucking razor. How do you know that? I have your boyfriend's other property. The sword I got elsewhere. Other property? Right. Meaning not his sword, got it? Like his undershorts that he pissed all over or something. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. So where did you get the sword? What'll you give me if I tell you? I'll stop short of gutting you. Fair offer. I bought it from a man at the Hairy Bear Tavern. Care to describe him? No need. He's the most famous dice player around. Out fucking standing. A real goddamn magician. <laughs> I believe that, Johnny. Johnny's there bringing the chat to life wherever he goes. How did you get Barrow's property? Stubborn ass fellow, aren't you? From a middleman. Uh. Yeah, let's bring down the hammer. <laughs> you don't get it. I'm not interested in the middleman. I want information about Berengar. Then thou fucking ask me. Your witcher boy was working for the alchemist, Kalkstein. That information you get free. I'll charge you the usual for anything else. How did you get Berengar's property? Stubborn ass fellow, aren't you? From a middleman. Where do I find him? At the Hairy Bear Tavern. Doubt he'd want to talk to you. Man named Kalman. Okay. Have you heard of Salamandra? Piss swilling reptiles. I've heard of them, but I've no fucking idea what they want. Amphibians. What? Salamanders are amphibians. Now tell me your connection to them. I'll be proud if I know. Uh you do business with Salamandra? Did you fucking fall off your horse? How did you get Berenger's effects? Dog's balls, I'm a fence. Want me to draw you a picture? You think I ask every thief who he plowed for his goods? Let me draw you a picture. A certain organization, Salamandra, has it in for witchers. A witcher, Berengar, disappears, and all he had lands in the hands of a fence. You. Getting this? A pox on pictures. Berenger's nothing to me. My suppliers might know more. Besides, I'd never survive in this business if I sold hot goods I actually had a hand in getting. He's a scholar? Scammer? Scaler? I mean, I kinda believe him if he's just a fence. <laughs> Very wise man. <laughs> Yeah, if he's just a fence, he's probably not actually the... I mean, I don't think he killed the Witcher. That's believable. Innocent until proven guilty, I guess. So let's assume it's not you for now. I'd say so. Goddamn Digstra, ace spy. Dog's balls, what a clever analysis. 
If you figure anything out and need more information, creep on over and we'll talk. Sir, I'm not finished with you yet. Please rise. So what'll it be? We doing some plowing be- I will not gamble. My gambling days are over. Explain to me why the guards tolerate you. <laughs> That's confidential. You need to know how to take care of yourself. Take care? Both the bastard guards and the arse loving thieves need me. That's real art, Witcher. I have deals with everyone, and that makes me untouchable. Right. So what'll it be? We doing some plowing business? A sword swinger with l with a long silver hair? I mean, he is. That's what the Witcher is. I wonder what the point of having a drink is, though. Why would I do that? Would he give me something? Show me the wares. I already did that. I suppose I could rest up and see if I could craft any more potions or something. Damn! Shit! What <laughs> What is that guy talking about? Do I have any points? I do have points. Dude, I can't believe it. You know what? That whole time in the last chapter, I was leveling up my silver sword abilities. I didn't even have a silver sword. What a freaking waste. Oh my god. No wonder it took so long to beat that boss. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Well... <laughs> I beefed up my silver sword abilities. I didn't even have a silver sword. Let's take a look at this stuff. Endurance, poison resist. Yeah, I like really screwed up. But at least we made it here, I suppose. I wonder if this is worth doing. Endurance? I believe that's that's the yellow bar which you use to cast your spells. I feel like I don't really need that right now. Base sign intensity. I don't know. Is there like a health upgrade? I'll take a health upgrade. Vitality. I think that's what... Damage up. But... Oh, only works when you're intoxicated? Dude. Does that mean that I've taken a potion? Like, I'm buffed? Is that what intoxicated is? Or is it when I actually get crunk and start drinking a lot of booze? This is where I truly need the Prima Strategy Guide. Intoxicated. Hmm. Hmm. And I can't... Or do I have all these? Is that what it is? Because it looks like I can't even touch these. And these require silver points, which I haven't gotten yet. So there's not really much I can do there anyway. This... Deflect arrows? Oh. Wait a minute. That actually sounds pretty good. Unlocks moves during fist fights? Hmm. Never played The Witcher. I know. I mean, I played this one, but I guess I just never... You know, there's like a lot of mechanics going on here, and so like... I don't know. <laughs> but these sound pretty good. I think what I'm considering is... I might put a point into stamina, because... Dude, I don't know. You know what? I read, like, a light little guide before I started this. Which, uh, like, I'm playing on hard mode, and basically, hard mode, like... You have to take advantage of all the different mechanics. If you play lower than hard mode, it's kind of... You're not getting the full experience. So, like, I did a little bit of light reading, and they said... It's best to not spread your points out too much. It's better to to focus, like, on a certain play style and invest all your points that way. So, like, I guess I don't want to make the mistake you're doing Elder Scrolls, Knights of the Old Republic, yeah. I don't want to make the mistake of spreading my points too thin and then, like, screwing up my character later. So I gotta keep that in mind. But then again, I don't even know what kind of play style I should go for or what. 
Maybe I should just focus on like a tanky, you know, muscle, a meathead, basically. I'm gonna make a jock character. But maybe as of right now, it's okay to spread them out in the beginning, but soon I will be just spiking up like strength and, I don't know, attacks or something. Yes. Okay, so I'll go ahead and take this. Maybe. Wow, what did I get? More endurance. Duration of intoxication. Okay, yeah, so I'm pretty sure when it says intoxication, it's also referring to the potions that I take. and makes them longer. That's actually, I think, very useful. Deflect arrows. I mean, god, they all sound good. Ah. Okay, I will take this. Oh, but it... I lose 50% dodging and parrying? Oh my god. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> and... Deflect arrows? I mean, that just sounds so cool. Sure. There we go. There we go. And I still... Oh, I actually can create some potions here. Reduce toxicity to zero. Base to create other ones. Increase endurance regen. I might go for the white gull. And there's not really many I could go for here. Oh, whoops. Oh, and then I can create more swallow right here. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, and I can create those too. Oh, my God. Um. Oh, a silver talent? No way. I'm going to do that. Oh, my God. Dude, we crafting up in here. And a swallow. I was able to make, like, everything. Oh, that's kind of awesome, actually. Defense or offense? Potions more? Ugh, I don't know. As far as potions, I'll take either defense or offense. But I think as far as play style... Oh my gosh. I honestly don't know. <laughs> With this game, I don't know. <laughs> the game is just so weird. Alright, we're gonna keep it daytime. Maybe noon. Yeah, that sounds fine. Dude, I just made so many potions, and we got some level ups. Oh, you know what? I literally just created those points that I could have distributed right now. Oh well. We'll get back to that later, I suppose. Okay. Oh, dude, I totally forgot. Yeah, so we're building a case onto who did what with Berengar, because he may supposedly be dead right now. Find Coleman at the Hairy Bear. Go to the Hairy Bear. Okay, that's two quests. Gather stuff. Witcher contracts. Speak to guards in Vizima. Maybe I'll do that one. Or the private investigator. Okay. I think I'll focus on these ones for now. Oh, look how close that is. Perfect. Hell with it. <laughs> I'm like you. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so back this way. So we're going to speak to guards about something or other. Was it this way? Yeah. Because of some arrest warrant that I have. It's a... Damn it, Strahd. 
What's strong? None of your business. I just... <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> what do they call it? The drugs in this game. Fizz tech? It's basically skooma from the Elder Scrolls game, I think. It's like the, you know, the... Uh, the drug, the illegal substance that the Khajiit have. I think it's... That's why he's sneezing. I think it's when you take fizz tech you start sneezing a lot. Alright, let's check this out. Wait, what is it? Oh, I have something for you. Uh, I think I sold all my valuables. Yeah, I mean, usually, like, I would just go for a balanced, like, build, you know? But I've heard for hard mode... That's pro that's probably not the best approach, and it'll hurt you near the end of the game. Why was the professor released from prison? He has powerful friends. Let that be a warning. Don't annoy those more powerful than you. I should be like the city guards. Release criminals whenever someone shakes a coin pouch. Hey, you're still under observation. Besides, someone bailed him out. Completely legal. Who was this benefactor? No idea. Money was transferred from Vivaldi's Dwarven Bank. Impossible to trace. Drop it. I could get into trouble talking like this. I have questions. Ask. If Foltest put a reward on the Professor's head, he must detest Salamandra. It's not royal gold. Privately funded. Interesting. There's also payments for Salamander badges taken from dead bandits. Who is this philanthropist? I can't tell you. But the sponsor's representative spends his evenings at the tavern. I'll check it out. <laughs> right, I kind of remember that. You can sell the salamandra badges for, for big dough, so that's why I was saving those. Got a cold? <laughs> You're pretty green. Not so green I don't know the best way to take Fistek. Fold back your skin and rub. Where? Where you can fold back your skin, Jethro. <laughs> if you buy Fiztech from Coleman at the Hairy Bear, don't say I sent you. What? See ya. Okay. So did I... Did I do what I needed to do? Again, it's pointing me toward the Hairy Bear. Okay, that's good. I think we're on the right track. We're gonna converge all of our quests toward the Hairy Bear. All right, now I'll check this one out. We're gonna hire a private eye. Oh, whoops. And then, yeah, on the way there, hopefully we could find a Barnes and Noble bookseller and sell all of our books. So. Maybe it's not worth going in here. I guess I'll take a look. Or maybe not. Ooh, let's run through the cornfield. Wee, it's so bright here. Kitty. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Oh god, how do I... Get out of here. Uh oh. Oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> Could it get lost in there? This hospital garden demands a caring hand. You seem to like what you do. Like it? I love plants and know them well. I spent my life dealing in bloodshed. Now's my chance for peace and quiet. Bloodshed? It's no point of pride, but I long earn my living as a mercenary. Those times are behind me now, and here I am content. Who the heck is this guy? I'm here about the notice. You look like a warrior. Care to kill Echinops for me? Certainly. Bring their thorns as proof. You're growing beautifully. <laughs> Did I just pick up a quest from this guy? Yeah, I think I figured out 
like before that anybody who's green they're like oh, kind of important people to talk to but he sounds and looks like Lambert Highlander and Raiden from Mortal Kombat who which one the Witcher oh wait you know what you're right he does sound like Raiden he like talks like that huh Hmm, interesting. Highlander? I actually haven't seen that. I've heard of it. Tell me about your mercenary. It's kind of days. funny, actually. Bring me a morsel to eat and we'll talk. Maybe we can make an arrangement? Don't you fear the plague? My garden brings joy. When Melitelli decides my time has come, I will go happily. Godspeed. Okay. Wait, let me double check. Did I get a quest from this guy? Because I think he said, like, collect something. Some flowers for him? That's for Shawnee. So no, I didn't get anything from him. But I could bribe him for some reason? Hold up. Wait, what? He has wares. Oh, maybe I can buy the the Celandine or whatever the heck. He has one. It's only twelve. I'm, might as well. Yeah, I haven't seen the Mortal Kombat movie in like forever, but I do. Raiden does stick out to me. It's the way he talks, and he's got that long white Saint hair. Saint Gabriel's Hospital for victims of the Catriona Plague. Only two stages after this: Old Vizima and Hell. Damn, I'm gloomy. <laughs> no passage. I'm going inside. Disease patients inside. I'll not have you spreading the pestilence. Wait, why do I want to go in there? I have something to show him? Wasting my time. Wait. No. Wait, what? <laughs> it's not the ring that I sold, is it? Please tell me it wasn't that ring. You know what? I'm gonna guess that's what happened. I gotta go back and get that ring. I shouldn't have sold it. No, now I gotta... I'm gonna lose out on a ton of money because of this. Yeah. Did I go the right way? Oh my god, I did not go the right way. Yeah, I, I was not sure if I still needed it, and now I'm feeling... I'm feeling naked without that ring. Let's see if I can buy it back. From this guy. I mean, I would have thought they wouldn't let you sell it if it was that important, but... Oh no, where is he? Is he over here? Hell with it. Really? You can't just talk to him over the counter? This one. A hundred rings, that's not... A hundred... coins. That's not bad. Okay. Alright, cool. Can I take this stuff? Will he care? Eh, I don't need that. Okay, wait, now that I got that, I should equip it. Boom, baby. Yeah, we got the ring back. The precious is ours. Now... I don't even remember where that was at, because that cutscene just played out of nowhere, but... Somewhere around here? In here, yeah. Better let me in, sir. No passage. I'm going inside. Disease patients inside. I'll not...
Wasting my time. What? What? <laughs> what a waste. You're wasting my time, actually, sir. Um. Time to play. Whatever. I'm gonna hang on to the ring for now. <laughs> Where is my next quest? I'm going to the private eye. <laughs> Get him down on price. I forget how much I sold it for. Hopefully it wasn't too bad. God, that was lame. <laughs> oh well. So there's a private eye in here somewhere. Let's just loot his home. Food, cheese. Sure, why not? Okay. Oh my god, can you guys see my my Steam overlay? Uh oh. <laughs> Great, I should have signed out of Steam. Usually I do. Well we got a new book. Oh wait, I've read that one. This one? Yeah. Wow, what a good read. All that lore. Yeah, you can't bit him down. I don't think you can. Well, well, well. What do we have here? What the heck? I'm Geralt of Rivia. A warrior like no other. Your legend precedes you. How can I help? I'm looking for some information. Is this where I'll find it? Good question. I used to work for the lawyers, Kadringer and Fenn. Satisfied? The names mean nothing to me. But I'll assume that's a recommendation. As a professional, you understand information has its price. I'll pay. I'm all ears, White Wolf. I'm interested in the people who wear salamander pins. Just so happens I know a thing or two. Before I go on, I wouldn't mind knowing what your interest in the case is. No big on the overlay. Alright. I have some unfinished business. Join the club. It'll cost you a hundred Orans. It's a lot of Oreos. Here's the gold. Why don't you tell me all you know about the Salamandra leader? I've been working on that case for a while. Okay. Go on. Azar Javed, a Zerikanian sorcerer, leads Salamandra. He's more dangerous than a pit of kickimores, but unfortunately out of my reach. With his contacts and resources, he's got almost free reign in the city. I got a taste of his abilities. Anything else? I suspect Salamandra has built a large-scale operation, with gold simply greasing the wheels of their political ambitions. They're conducting genetic experiments, dangerous ones. Regular thugs wouldn't have the knowledge or means. Who's working for Javit? Any guesses? The captain of the guard who dropped that investigation disappears, Knights. Maybe you can squeeze some information out of him. Is that all? We might have one more lead. The city guards detained someone who could provide information. The guards at the city jail? Yeah. Find a way to question that prisoner. In the meantime, learn what you can from the guards. Count on it. People open up to me all the time. <laughs> His information could be priceless. He <laughs> looks like Good a luck. weasel. He does. I'm wondering, is he supposed to be like Sherlock Holmes or something? He's got like big hat and uh... No, Sherlock didn't have a monocle, he just had a magnifying glass, right? I don't know. He has kind of a cool voice though. Know anything more about the Salamander prisoner? He may be one of the leaders, though in this town the guards capture pawns while the big fish swim free. We'll know for certain once you question him. You know, we'll he see. looks like he's from uh, Bloodborne, actually. I think you're being he's followed. Any suggestions? What? Wait here a while. Make them nervous. Surprise those who want to surprise you. I'll leave at midnight. Oh. <laughs> Bloodborne. Well, that's what this guy looks like. He's dressed up like Bloodborne. Dude, I should play Bloodborne. I love that game. That's my favorite Souls game. So freaking cool. The Lovecraft stuff. Oh my god. The Witcher is taking his time. He must have left a different way. No matter. Seems true. I assume the trap is set. 
Indeed. It's not bald guys club. In the trade quarter. I'll leave the matter to our best agent. Vadi video. I've seen a bunch of his videos for all the Souls games. Oh dear god, leave me alone! I'm sorry! Oops, I screwed up. Screwed up. I love that death screen. Okay, blast them, please. Dear God, please don't kill me, sirs. Oh God, I died. I was using my silver sword the whole time. I hope I'm not too far back. But yeah, Kovic. Yeah, Vadi Vidya. I mean, I think yeah, he's like the most prominent like dude who does like lore videos for for all those games. Before, like the OG guy who did videos was Epic Name Bro, and that was like when I first got into the Souls games. I was like watching all his videos, but he doesn't really do them anymore. And he must have left yeah. a way. No matter. Seems true. Oh, we can I start the right set. away. Indeed, tend to your tasks in the trade quarter. I'll leave the matter to our best agent. Did you play Sekiro yet? Okay, this time we're gonna do it like this with the correct sword. That blood curdling scream, though. Wow, look how much easier that was using the proper combat etiquette. What the? You throw pocket sand in my face or something? I'm dying. I know it. <laughs> Who the heck was that? You don't have a PS4? What? Oh no, 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 no. Well, wait, hold up. <laughs> uh, okay, you do Persona Bloodborne? Okay, I hear you. I was gonna say Sekiro's on PC. You know, I just saw a rumor today. <gasps> oh dang, I got Fizz Tech. I wonder... Can I carry that? Did I pick up that axe? I have too much booze. Like, booze is all of my inventory. Epic Nate, very narrative. Hmm? Yeah, definitely. Bloodborne's like. Oh, such a cool game. But, uh, Sekiro was pretty cool. I think after the dust settled, like, after I played it and, like, you know, the world moved on, I think I would rank it kind of below a lot of the Souls games, though. But it was a lot of fun. What do I do now? Who's this lady here, by the way? So... Wait, Crown Witness. Talk to Jethro. So I gotta go back to the prison with the guards? They're just like making me run back and forth here, but. Okay. But yeah. Dude, like the nighttime sections are like totally the best. You actually get to fight glorious battles. I heard about that. I think even the the 360, even the wait the current Xbox Xbox One does that have or 
Can that one play original Xbox games? That'd be really cool. You know we have an OG Xbox and like a stack of games for it too. Alright, so back here to the dungeon. Talk to Jethro yet again. I have questions. Ask. Know anything about this salamander prisoner? Why would I tell you? <laughs> the captain would kill me. Maybe I can persuade you. Powder would help. Oh, so I just picked up his powder so I could give it to him, right? I have fizz tech for Jethro. Oh my god. Game design. Which one is the fizz tech? Oh, these were put into my inventory as potions? Interesting. Uh, where's the fizz tech? Here it is. And I put it there. Okay. Take. I never turn down good fizz tech. Dude, PS5 has to play PS4. But you know what? I also hear that there's gonna be, like, PS5 upgraded versions of, like, PS4 games? I wonder how that's gonna work. Guess we'll see eventually. Apparently there was supposed to be like a big PS5 announcement, right? Like the other day, but they held off for the, uh, you know, for all the protesting and stuff like that. Tell me about that Salamandra prisoner. But... So... I hardly know anything. Where is he? They took him to Lebiota Hospital. Thanks. So... <laughs> Huh. But they won't let me in the hospital. Who did you confiscate the Witcher's sword from? Tala, the fence. Hester and his living somehow. Before we let the professor out, Tala and Vincent were chatting in the courtyard. Before I went down the sewers, somehow I sense it was no coincidence. Where do I find Tala? I already talked I mark to Mark the place Taller. on the map, but don't kill him. We have a deal with him. You should drop that habit. Maybe, but not today. See ya. Okay. <laughs> Elder Scrolls 6, dude, yeah. I've heard that's gonna be a while. I believe the next game they're working on- Oh! <gasps> I came to level? Wee! I heard- I think the next game they're working on is called Starfield, and it's gonna be like a sci-fi outer spacey game. Something like that. Wee! Uh, I gotta level up. Okay, wait, so now we just learned a whole bunch of stuff that I already knew that I've already done, so I guess I did this quest in the wrong order. However, prisoner in the hospital, but they won't let me in the hospital. Dog catcher? Oh, that's right, there's like dog enemies that roam the streets at night. Drowned dead. Oh, dude, yeah. I love stuff like that. Though usually... It almost always has to be videos of games that, like, I personally enjoy, you know? Joseph Anderson. He makes really good, like, design in-depth... Oh, video oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Oh, I'll have to check that out. Starfield, yeah, I hope they, they show some more of that soon. I think they've barely shown anything. But, okay. Joseph Anderson, I will check that out. There is a, a dude who does, like, super in-depth, like, video game analysis, video essays and stuff. Really? On the Witcher series? Oh, I see. Yeah, the only thing is, like, I want to... I would want to play through the games before I would I would like watch the videos because I'm sure there's tons of spoilers and stuff. 
There's a dude I watch, his name is Matthew Matosis, and he does kind of the same thing. He, he goes through like an entire series of video games and just like breaks down each game. And like his videos are super long, but he's done like the Souls series. He's done like the 3D Mario game series, the Zelda series. Like, it's just like really good stuff. Definitely take a look at him because he's got some good videos. Oh my god. That's like, that's what I was saying like five years ago. <laughs> Yeah, he was kind of the start, or like my intro to videos like that, like breaking down really awesome games. I love the Sequelitis series, but then he like... I guess he just stopped animating and then Game Grumps took off, so it like... Not enough play for this. Can I just go in? Like... No past I'm going disease. Okay, they won't let me in. Unless I bribe him, but Farewell. I'll wait on that. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. They just do like 10-15 minute video snippets of them playing like a game for a couple hours. I could see why. It's like so popular and easy to do. But like I was kind of torn because I really did... I really did like Game Grumps. Like I watched a lot of it when it was JonTron. But I do wish that, like, we got more of that original Ego Raptor content, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, the JonTron era. The new guy seems, like, really funny too, but I just haven't really watched that much of it. Yeah, he seems, like, super hilarious, but I've just sort of moved on from that a little bit. Let me see. Okay, I think at this point... Dogs. Yes. I want to fight dogs. Actually... I think we're gonna make our way to the Harry Bear Inn, but hopefully we'll fight packs of dogs on our way there. You knew about him before Game Grumps? Really? I remember when I... Like, I got... I became like an Ego Raptor fan like right before Game Grumps, or like right when Game Grumps was becoming a thing. And like I was watching all the sequelitis stuff, all his animations, and like it was super funny and I loved it. And then I saw like the Game Grumps teaser with this guy named John Tron. I was like, who the heck is this guy? This sucks! I don't want to see this! And then I started watching and I was like, okay, this is kind of awesome. Oh, you know, Nicole actually, or excuse me, Rebel, she actually has like a light connection to the Game Grumps. She, she knows, I think one of their video editors or something. So, you know, I'm about to be propelled into stardom with my Game Grumps friends. Where's the dogs at, man? What the heck is that? Is this a vampire? Oops, keep screwing it up. Dude, there's a lot of weird noises happening right now. I don't know how I feel about it. Oops. This guy has a lot of health. Oh, 
such an intense battle right now. Wow. Okay. Yeah, my heavy style killed it, like, way faster. Uh, that was very interesting. Indeed. Oh my god, my inventory's full. Oh yeah, I can take these potions, I think. It'll give me, like, free level ups or something. Yes. And then the Frightener one. Oh, that's right, yeah, John Tron got big because of his, like, retro reviews and stuff. I remember that. Something's wrong with my bat? What are you talking about? What bat? What's that? This thing? This bat right here? <laughs> Is that my bat? Yeah. That was very random, but that was kind of cool that the townsfolk were all helping me. I think before I like move on into the establishment, I want to see if I can find those dogs so I can knock out that other quest. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, is this a dog? No, that's a good dog. But yeah. I'll, uh, I'll send you a message of that Matthew Matosis. His videos are really, really good. He's like... He's an Irishman. He's Irish. I think he did the, the uh, Metal Gear series as well, too. It's good stuff. Truly good stuff. <laughs> but yeah, his videos are like incredibly long and then it's like five in a row like hour two hour long videos sir please what is that is that thing on my team what's this interesting I fought those guys before, right? Ghouls? Yeah. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Sir, please. Do not loot this target. I implore you. Wow, I'm so powerful. And I do not know what this thing is, but it looks kind of cool and it's a good guy. Uh oh, wait. The town cemetery. The dead and undead await behind that gate. Plenty of work for a witcher. Is that one of my quests? Do I have to go to the cemetery? What? Oh. Al Ghoul, but I need something in my bestiary before I can do that. Bestiary. You can find him by the landing in the swamp. Interrogate a witness? I should interrogate the prisoner being held by- Oh my god, how did I miss that? <laughs> oh. Okay, well... Where are these dogs at, though? I thought that packs of dogs roam the streets at night. Look lively. 